this starting video, I want to show you how to use the Fusion software. Fusion software will be found on your desktop in this icon. <clears throat> it's a F, Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a brown F, it looks sculpted and stuff. When you click on it, you should launch some kind of interface that looks something like this. Hopefully it didn't get changed too much. One of the first things you want to do is go into sorry document settings and check the units for some reason it pops up way over here make sure that you're drawing in inches and i would suggest you set this as a default it's already been set so i don't have to click okay but i'm drawing in inches the fusion software is a cad software computer aided design a cad software and you have all these different drawing tools but any drawing that you do typically it starts with a sketch. So if you click on any one of these icons, it should pop up with a visual sort of quick tutorial. What is this tool for? What can I do with it? So in the sketch tutorial pop up, it tells you, you have, well, here's where you actually draw a shape. So I'm going to start with that. And when you do that, you get a grid that pops up, the three dimensional grid. And it's basically those three planes, the front plane, the top plane i guess and the side plane depending on which one you want to start drawing from so i'm going to just start on that side plane doesn't really matter but it rotates it into view this is kind of like sketching paper or graph paper this is where you can draw the shape that you want to start with maybe a rectangle circle triangle whatever down on the screen at the bottom one of the things i find useful is snap to grid it's probably set as default but you just want to check that some of the other familiar tools you've probably seen. I'm going to come back to this orbit tool after. When you're sketching, you have all these different tools up here. Um, one of the things you'll see a lot of are these little sort of triangle arrows. And when you click on the sketch one for create, you'll see a whole bunch of different options. I think they probably show some of the most common ones, but I'm going to start with a rectangle. If I went to rectangle, <clears throat> pardon me, you will see different ways to draw a rectangle. And I think the default one is a two point from corner to corner, although you could pick other ways. And again, with circles and everything, text, you name it, there's different options of how to attack that kind of a feature. If I just click on rectangle, I'm going to start at the origin. That's my first corner. And then as I snap to grid, you see it snap, 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 snap. And it's doing it inches. So I'm just going to go up to two inches by four inches and click OK. And then I get my sketch. You can go up and change things with this dimension tool. I think if you click on that, you go in here. See how it highlights it in blue? You click on there. And I can go up, drag my dimension. Good style is to drag it away a bit and put the number not to the left or the right, but somewhere in the middle and drag it a little bit off the sketch out of the way. And then that option pops up and I could type in a bigger dimension and it will automatically sketch it. I'm still in sketch dimension, so I could go here, drag out a dimension so it's sort of centered and off a bit, click on it, option pops up if I want. I could just press enter and accept it. So this is the sketching tools, dimensioning, so you can change sizes if you need to or if you change your mind. And when you're done, you just finish sketch and you get that shape again. There's your sketch. You're back to where you are. Over here, you start building all of the different sketches that you do. And you can go into here, that's sketch one. A very good habit, double click on it and just say, a name or some description of what you want it to be remembered as. So I called it as my base box sketch. I, I sketched the base of a box I want to build. And that means as I build, I remember what each one of them is. Kind of similar to other software. If you identify your features later on when you have to edit them, it comes back a little bit easier to follow what you're trying to do. You can right click on it here and go to edit the sketch. And that puts you back where you were. So, oh yeah, you know what? I changed my mind, I'm gonna change that. Or, and you can play around with your sketch at any time. And again, when you're finished with what you changed or what you will modify, finish sketch and it puts you back. Next feature I wanna show is called extrude. Extrude is kind of like making pasta noodles. 
it stretches things out. So if I click on it, because I only have one face or one feature, this is the piece I want to stretch out or extrude out, as they call it. And as you go, you'll notice here that it starts showing you the length. Um, if I extruded the other way, it will do the length, but it suddenly shows a negative value because it's going the opposite way to the plane that you started on. So sometimes you see a negative. It just means you're going the opposite way to where the program sees the start. When you drag out, I can drag it to whatever I want. Here's this little ball. This is kind of a neat feature. You can taper it in if you wanted to, make it on a sort of a slight angle, or I can taper it out. Well, I'm going to leave it at zero degrees because I don't want to taper. Um, but I'm going to drag it out. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll just type in 1.50. And then I press Enter. And I'm done. Then, as always, you should save your piece. So I'm going to call it First Demo Video 1 and I hit save. Oh, one last thing over here, as much as I uh, redefine my sketch name, when I do an extrusion, they call it body one, that's extrusion one. I'm gonna change that, my name, extruded box. That's just what I'm gonna call it. So I remember, uh, press enter, and then I'm done, and I'm gonna hit resave. And I'll hit OK, and that's it. OK, that's all. Just getting the basic shapes. Give it a try. I'll get on to the next video. Bye for now.